Hey everyone, it's Amber, and today I'm going to be doing my August wrap-up, and this wrap-up is kind of shameful, ringing the shame bell. I did not read very much this month at all. I actually did read a good amount, I just didn't finish, like, anything. Anything. Okay, for one, I did get distracted, but that's not the reason I didn't read anything. I don't, I just, I had school books to read for summer reading, and those books just like crippled me. Like I couldn't read anything else because I read these school books and if I was reading something I wanted to read I felt really guilty. Now the books I did read for school I did actually enjoy more than your typical school book. They weren't like my favorite thing I've ever read and they also, I kind of had like a love-hate, not really love-hate, kind of like hate relationship with them because I, they made me feel guilty for reading what I wanted to read. So long story short, I started a lot of books. I only finished three. Guess how many of those three books were for fun? Zero. I am wearing black in mourning. I'm actually not. I just wanted to wear this shirt because it's new. But like, let's just say that I'm mourning the loss of a month of not very much reading. But anyway, let's we'll get right into my wrap up. But I did read eight books last month, so I can forgive myself for this. The first book I read was a play, and it was for school, and it was The Glass Menagerie by Tennessee Williams. I enjoyed this, but it kind of made me really, it made me think a lot, and it made me really feel something. I mean, not that I don't feel things normally. When a piece of literature really makes you think and feel strong emotion, it's a good piece of literature. So I gave this like a three point five stars just because I didn't enjoy it but it did make me think. The next book that I read this month was 1984 by George Orwell. I did enjoy this. It is basically a classic dystopian novel in which they live in a society and they're all kind of robots. And it follows this guy named Winston and his day-to-day -day life and it does also make you think about today's society and what the future will be like and stuff like that and it was very interesting and I enjoyed it. I thought it was a great classic. I usually don't like school books not because they are classics because if I read classics on my own I'd probably really enjoy them. I just don't like them because they make me feel guilty for reading what I want to read which is stupid because I shouldn't feel guilty but they do and that's why I kind of have like a love-hate relationship with them because I love annotating them and I love thinking about them. I just am not a big fan of the time that they consume. And the last book I actually completed this month was How to Read Literature Like Professor, A Lively and Entertaining Guide to Reading Between the Lines by Thomas C. Foster. This book was pretty good. This was just kind of a instructional um, insight I guess on how to look deeper into literary works but it didn't do like a whole lot for me but it was insightful in some ways and it was pretty good for a school book it didn't bore me to death it did mention like Percy Jackson and Harry Potter which I personally really fangirled about but it was okay it wasn't the best I think I gave it like three stars. And now I'm gonna go into the books that I read but I didn't finish. I didn't start this book this month but I did read more of it on audiobook um, that was The Lost Hero by Rick Riordan. I'm really enjoying this book. It's probably one of my favorite books that I'm currently reading right now. I'm really enjoying listening to it. And I can listen to it while I'm doing other things like chores and homeworks, like summer work that I had to do this month and stuff like that. So this is not like how far I am. I don't know how far I am because, you know, I am listening to it. just love to be back in this world. I am planning on finishing this pretty quickly in September because I am listening to it on audiobook so that will really help me listen to it during like school and on the bus and stuff like that and during my study period and I will finish this pretty quickly because believe it or not I actually read more audiobooks during school than I do during the summer and I get a lot more reading done. I also read a lot of this book. I read so much of Harry Potter and the Order of the Phoenix by JK Rowling. I read 420 pages. That does not look like 420 pages. I am immensely enjoying it because it's Harry Potter and of course who doesn't like Harry Potter? It is taking me a hell of a long time to get through because it is a long book. I have been trying to read shorter books right now because I want to finish something 
so I kind of put this down for the end of the month. And I'm planning on at least reading a little more during September. I know it's going to be a lot of stuff, like I'm going to have a lot of stuff to do, but I'm going to try. And then I started Illuminae, which I took the dust jacket off because it was like annoying me while I was reading. I am really enjoying this so far. I am about like 100 pages in. This book follows a girl named Katie and a guy named Ezra, and it's written very interestingly, which I really like. It has like scripts and pictures and stuff like that. Pretty quick read overall. It also is science fiction, which is really cool. I am planning on finishing it in September. At the very tail end of this month, I became extremely obsessed, Exhibit A, my pocket Jamie, with Outlander, and I started reading the book. Um, it's by Diana Gabaldon, if you didn't know. And the show is on stars and it's extremely good and Sam Hewen is beautiful. I'm on page 57. So I will continue to read this throughout this month. I probably won't finish it to be honest because it's a very long book. But maybe I will. Who knows? Let's be optimistic. Maybe I'll finish it. But anyway, I'm really enjoying it. It is beautiful so far. I just met Jamie. I love Jamie. And I'm hoping to finish it throughout September. And it will definitely make me very happy while I'm very stressed out at school. So I'm really excited about continuing with this. And the last book that I started this month was Rebel Spring by Morgan Rhodes, which is the second book in the Fallen Kingdom series. If you do not know, this series is kind of like a young adult Game of Thrones. It, that's how it's mostly described by people, um, which I would agree with. But there are less like people to remember in this. I am about 60 pages into this. It is a multi-perspective fantasy novel and it is very good and I definitely recommend it. I will probably be doing a full series review when I finish it and I'm actually buddy reading this with my friend. So this will be pretty motivational for me to get a book finished during school because we're talking about it as we read it. So that is it for my August wrap up. My September TBR will be coming at you in the next video that I put up. Let me know what books you read in August and which one was your favorite down below. Let me know what you are going to read in September, and I cannot believe that it's already September. It's back to school season, guys. But that is about it for this video. Feel free to give it a thumbs up if you enjoyed it. You can also subscribe down below if you want to see more of my videos. I'll leave all of my social media, like my Instagram and my Twitter and my Goodreads and all of that down below in the description, and I will see you guys next time. Bye!